Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about cuties again. Must we? Uh, yeah, we're going to because there's a little bit of a coda to the cuties controversy. Now, for those of you who don't know, cuties is a movie on Netflix. It's not produced by Netflix. It's a French film that just happens to be airing on Netflix. And it features what many believe to be over-sexualized uh, underage girls. And it's supposed to be commentary, according to the director, according to the director, commentary on the over-sexualization of underage girls by showing them on camera. Right. So, like, if, you know, if way. I would I would do drugs and I would get arrested, I shouldn't be arrested because it was just my social commentary demonstrating why you shouldn't do drugs uh, because it's bad. Um, I think the judge will completely buy that. Yeah, they totally would buy it. So it didn't sit well with a lot of people. There was a hashtag cancel netflix uh when this movie dropped a lot of people now i'm hearing i'm hearing multiple uh versions uh some people said that the movie was way worse than they expected it to be because netflix kind of downplayed it and said oh the uh the marketing does not accurately reflect the content of the movie and other people were like uh nah it's okay it's just you know everybody's getting their panties in a bunch no nope, <laughs> no nope. no pun intended i hope well I'm hearing there maybe it's lack of panties sometimes. Ah, uh, yeah, I was shocked by that. So, you know, needless to say, we haven't watched it. I have no desire to watch this movie. I'm not going to watch nope. it. Not my thing. Um, a lot of people threatened to cancel Netflix, and it actually did have an impact on their business, a huge mm -hmm. impact on their business. I was, I'm going to be honest, I was actually surprised because a lot of times when people complain about things that they're going to boycott or whatever, they don't. Right. You know, there's usually a lot of noise online. People don't because they might be like, oh, uh, yeah, I hate cuties, but I really like Stranger Things in anime. So I think I'm going to keep that subscription. Well, here's my thing. I guess my thing is um, I just boycott what I don't like. Like, because, I mean, there's a lot of things on there that I do. So I don't want you. It's like throwing a baby out with the bathwater. So, I mean, I see both sides of it because like, OK, for example, uh, Solo. How about yeah. Solo? Everybody boycotted Solo because they're like, okay, we're going to send Disney a message. But the takeaway, what happened for Disney, what they they what they took away from it, which is exactly what we said they take away from it, was, no, they don't like movies like Solo, so don't make any more Star Wars stories. They want more of The Last Jedi, because that one made money at first. So, you know, you have to be careful, because sometimes, you know, that you're stopping things that are good, because now Netflix might do, want to do more animation that's family-based and try to kick Disney's ass by you know this so i mean i see both sides of it i honestly do yeah it's i, I mean this is uh, this is uh yeah this is i don't know how this is going to play out long term there was a hit to their uh bottom line for sure good but netflix came out and said they doubled down they're like we're not apologizing for this movie tough shit you know well then tough i guess shit. you you know we're gonna, don't, don't whine when you lose all your viewers we're gonna cut out the ooh la la scene from back to the future part two right but we're going to, we're totally cool. Totally cool. With, with 11 year old ass scenes. So anyway, the uh, backlash led Netflix U.S. cancellations to spike nearly eight fold. Analytics firm says their stock dropped uh, big time. You can actually see. Oh, wow. Clear boom. But now it's, it's kind of uh, normalized a little bit. Or they're predicting it's going to normalize. We'll talk about both of these things. Um, now, here's the thing. Again, reminder. Reminder, this is a French movie. This is not a Netflix-produced movie. That right. being said, in France, a couple of years ago, there was a case involving an 11-year-old uh, girl and a 28-year-old man hooking up, and they had to debate whether or not it was uh, illegal. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ew? Yeah. So, um, yeah, anyway. Anyway, so there is that. So let's just say that uh, some people in, in France, I, I believe, have have different uh, different standards. I can't even. Maybe, maybe not all French people. Now you actually went to France. For I a was while. to France, and um, when I was there, the one person I was staying with, the 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 daughter who was my age, was showering with her boyfriend, um, and her friend that also stayed with us uh, made sure I knew that that was not normally how they behave. <laughs> That it was, she just wanted to make sure I understood that, you know, that's not, she felt really odd about it too. And it was not normally how people behave there. 
Was she 11? Were you 11 at the time? No, I was 18. Okay. Uh, she was legally an adult. So, I mean, right. it was okay. But we were with her family and her parents and her little sister and her little brother and everything. So. Ah, uh, okay. So here we go. A campaign waged against Netflix over cuties in the film's sexual, sexualized portrayal of children produced a surge in U.S. subscriptions cancellations over the weekend, according to research company Yip It Data. <laughs> Is that right? Yip It Data? Yep, it, it good. Uh, it could be worse. A Netflix subscriber churn rates began to rise on September 10th. Churn, that's what they're calling it. Uh, rage quit. The day after the release of Cuties on Netflix, where the hashtag cancel Netflix was in the top trending spot on Twitter, according to data compiled by Yip It. On Saturday, September 12th, Netflix cancellation rate in the U.S. jumped to nearly eight times higher than average daily levels, recorded in August 2020, reaching a multi-year high the data analytics provider told Variety. With the canceled Netflix hashtag continuing to trend on social media, it is possible elevated churn could continue in the coming days. Uh, it's unclear, however, how big of an impact it will have on Netflix's overall subscriber base. Yip it data declined to provide estimates of the number of customers who canceled. Uh, they talked about how people churn, they drop it, you know, when it shows. Right. And right. a lot of people aren't. A lot of people are just going to stick, but they're just going to totally boycott that movie, but then, you know, watch the stuff that they, they want to support. Uh, Netflix doubled down. They defended cuties. We talked about that. Um, they said it's, it's actually against, it's against the thing that it shows in the movie. Right. I don't, I'm sorry. No matter how what? many times you keep saying that, it's against that. It's trying to make a point that it's wrong by doing it. I'm like, I'm sorry. No matter how many times you say that, it doesn't make it okay. Like, okay, I murdered that dude. Sorry, judge. Um, I was just uh, pointing out, I was wanting to demonstrate how wrong it is to murder somebody so other people don't do it. Were you sad when I put it on YouTube? Did that make you sad? Then, yeah, you shouldn't do it. So... Um, you know, yeah. I'm just, I mean, this is stupid. I mean, the argument is dumb. There's a better ways to pr to promote awareness without actually or dropping to that level. Well, that's what, that's what the, uh, the main criticism is, is they're like, it, you can make a movie that, that talks about this, you know, very touchy subject matter, but you can do without it. Without being a touchy subject matter? Without. Wanting people to touch the subject matter. Right, because, you know, people are like, well, in the film, they're lingering a little too long on certain scenes and certain body parts. Y you could have done this better. You could have left a lot to the imagination. You shouldn't be imagining 11-year-old girls. Uh, right, right. So this wasn't an ABC after-school special. Oh, I'm um, waiting for the other argument to be, well, if you're picturing, if, if they're putting these girls in, 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 in that way, and they're sticking the, the cameras on their butts and all that stuff. If you are imagining that and, and thinking about that, then the problem's all with you because you shouldn't be. Yeah, right. It's all your fault. This is like this is like the argument for you know with uh, uh, some women are like you know I went topless and it's it's the male gaze. I should be allowed to go you know strut as sexily as I can. Right, I'm and, sure a lot of women women were looking at you too. Like what the hell? Yeah, and it's it's all on on you, men. It's all your fault. It's your problem that you're you're turned on by my my uh, scantily clad attention seeking self. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're topless, you're you know definitely scantily clad. Yeah, um, I don't go topless very often. No, he doesn't. I don't actually. I used to have. I used Nor to... do I. I thought I'd better clarify that. Yeah, we we yeah. <laughs> I used to have some mighty nice pecs, but uh, we've been <laughs> well, in lockdown for a while. So my uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't go uh, topless anyway because you know I could trip over something. St <laughs> <laughs> Netflix shares dropped one point three percent Monday following the streaming platform's controversial release of the film Cuties. The award-winning French coming-of-age drama. 11-year-old girl. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? French coming-of-age. That Just put that back there. Yeah, okay. Um, face backlash as a preview to American audiences who criticize the film for exploiting the young cast by inappropriately, uh, you know, filming them. Which, mm -hmm. yeah, again, it's like... Hey, little girl, come over here and, and jiggle for us. We got to get not nah, sorry. We got to do another take. Uh, that they just said wasn't that, yeah, enough. they said that, you know, how many hours are these girls doing that? They're like, you know, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm just it's just messed up. Um, that'll be the director's cut. That'll be. I don't want to see the director's uh, cut. I don't want to see any cut of this. Yeah. Um, except the cut that it's like, you know, being cut from Netflix. But um, I, so my mom, I 
about fell out of my chair. I did too. My mom, mom, if you're listening to this, I still don't understand why you thought that was a good idea. Watch the movie. Why? I don't know why. Why did Mama Sparkles watch I this movie? I don't know why. I don't know. I think she was bored. She probably no, thought it, no, wasn't, but, no. it wasn't as bad as she thought it was going to be. I have no idea. She said it was worse than she thought it was going to be, and it made her cry. Now, my mom is very much, you know, children's rights as, you know, I'm I. And um, I'm sure it was very upsetting. I'm, a, I'm You're a mom and a teacher, which she is as well. I'm sure it's an upsetting thing. I don't... I don't know why you watched it, Mom! We we explained the scenes that are in the movie. Well, she might not have watched that video. I never talked to her, talked to her about it. I said videos on it. We, I didn't think she'd go watch it. Did they recommend it to her? I don't know. Are they, are they recommending cuties to Mama Sparkles? And why? Why is Netflix re recommending cuties to your know. mother? Why? Netflix, why? Why are you doing this? I don't know why she did it, but... You know, um, Why did you if watch you're going to watch something, I, I, I recommend you watch something else like Magic Mike or something like that, Mom. <laughs> so, That's a little tamer. <laughs> it probably is. Why would she watch Cuties? Oh, my God. Because everybody's she was talking upset. about it. She was upset by it. And I was like, I, I, I'm sure you are. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for Netflix to be like, good news, everybody. Cuties is the most watched, most rewound, most uh, uh, paused. paused uh, most slow motion. Most on, on Netflix ever. Good news, shareholders. Um, Congratulations. Yeah. Um, but, Congratulations. you know, it's all, and, and people are only watching it because um, they want to they want to learn about how exploiting children is wrong. They're reading it for the articles. <laughs> They're reading it for the articles. No, you're not even allowed to read it for the articles because they banned Ooh La La. Oh, it's subtitled. I think oh, they dub it. Oh, that would be awful. I don't. I think it's subtitled. I'm not looking at her ass and reading. Ask your mother. Ask your mother. No, no. I'm was not... it subtitled or dubbed badly with adult women's voices? I don't know. I doubt it was dubbed with adult women's voices. I'm not looking at her butt. I'm just reading the subtitles really slow. I could just see. I could just see the girl that'd be like, "Hey, mom, I want to dance. What's wrong with you?" Oh, that's not how adult women sound. I thought you said adult women. Not I said men. really bad. Really bad, bad dubs. Uh, anyway, trying to make uh, some humor. It wasn't one of those. Laugh or cry. I mean, right? it wasn't one of those anime things like Big Brother. <laughs> oh, no. At least they're fake girls. What These are you are... doing, Big Brother? <laughs> Is that your anime voice? I don't know. It's better than, hey, lady, I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm a lover. I'm like, you know. Oh, God. Okay. So while the directorial debut of French filmmaker, I can't pronounce her name. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce Ms. That D. That's why I cannot pronounce her name. Uh, did not stir much controversy when it opened in her home country, France, where the age of consent is up for debate, case involving an 11-year-old girl. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, the hashtag cancel Netflix began trending on Twitter shortly after its U.S. release. The day after the movie appeared on Netflix on Wednesday, shares of the company fell 3.9 percent. That's I mean, honestly, there's not a whole lot. I mean, it is, but it isn't. You know, the movie is currently ranked seventh on the platform's top ten movies and shows in the U.S. today because Mama Sparkles watched it. No, it's because most people are probably like, "What the heck's up with this movie?" The same reason we Milan did, you know, got a lot of downloads. Everybody wanted to see, oh, there's con there, there's controversy. Well, what happened? I gotta know. Inquiring minds. Uh, Netflix shares have been on the decline since September 8th, the day before the film's release. Uh, they've been on the rise following the Labor Day weekend. Uh, Netflix's opening price started at 480. Blah 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 blah. Man, Netflix really went up. I remember when it was like, wait, it's normally 592. Okay, I guess that is a big. Deal. Yeah, you know, I could have got Netflix for like 100 bucks a share at one point. Like, why didn't you? Because I didn't know. Because you're poor. <laughs> yeah, I was too poor. poor. Yeah, I was like, I don't have. I can't. How long ago was that? Oh, it was years ago. Well, that's what I'm saying. If it was years ago, we were probably too poor. Yeah, I we did. had little, little, little babies, and Pampers are expensive. Pampers are expensive. Even though I, I mostly use Loves or Walmart brand because um, they were cheaper, but they worked better. We got the Walmart brand with the little duckies on them. They, they those things worked. They held a lot of because man. Squid King pisses like a racehorse. Did, well, he holds it for a long time. He does. And he would. He would just... He he's going to kill you right now. You know this, right? He's not going to watch this. 
<laughs> Someone's gonna go tell him, hey, Squid King, guess what? I hear you pissed like a racehorse. He was a baby. Wait, wouldn't that be exploitation? You have to be careful. Uh, Someone's gonna take that the wrong way. Yeah, they are. Some people would, uh, yeah, they are. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, uh, actually, the backlash actually worked. Um, I have to admit, again, I'm not trying to be like, I, I just know that a lot of times there's, there's talk about, you know, backlash toward this or that. And then, All press is good press. Yeah. That's and, why they say it. But it also seemed to, to help this movie get seen more. Right, because you know? any buzz, so like, any buzz, a good or bad, is going to benefit something. Even if it's bad, everybody's going to want to, why is it bad? It's taboo? I need to go watch it because I shouldn't. You know, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. How bad is this movie actually? I mean, there have been movies I, I was told that were like horrible or TV or whatever, and I watched them like that's it. Well, some people said this one wasn't that bad. I mean, it depends who you ask. Uh, you know, my mom thinks it's really bad. Other people said it wasn't as bad as you thought. I go back there for a second. <laughs> if you're French, it's no big deal. Apparently. <laughs> I want to point out, uh, Squeaking was telling you about this earlier. So apparently Carol Baskin, is, there's, the, there's the article there. She was making her debut on Dancing with the Stars, and her missing husband's family uh, paid for a whole commercial in the middle of it, talking about how much they missed him and stuff. Ah. Oh. Which I thought was like. Ouch. So he's been missing since '97. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they're. I never watched Tiger King, so I don't know. I haven't either. That was another one. Everybody talked about Netflix. See, if you can't. No, Squeaking said I cannot watch that movie or that show. Yeah. If it involves animal issues in any kind, I can't watch it. Just like uh, I can't watch cuties because it involves kids. Oh, that's why so. we didn't watch it. That's right. Yeah, because... You can watch it. I just can't. Squeak, I have no desire to watch it. You have no... You, I mean, it doesn't bother him. He goes go up and, and... I'm like, he's shooting animals in games and I'm crying and he's like, but it's not real. And I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, Squeak King. Uh, speaking of Squeak King, back in the day when we played Minecraft. And we're going to start playing Minecraft again, I think, on the, the gaming channel. Now that we have a studio to do it in. Yeah, now we have a studio to do it in. We can do more live streams. But yeah, we made a pork chop factory. Yes, you did. And we would uh, spawn pigs, they would drop on the conveyor belt, and then they would just fall into the fire. Yeah, because, and guess whose idea that was? Uh, hint, it wasn't Squid Kings, because he was like five. <laughs> I accidentally set all his dogs on fire. No, he's still mad at you to this day. Apparently he had wolves that he had he had tamed, and uh, Neon killed all his dogs. <sighs> I didn't mean to! And he is still salty. You think, you think you know, Toodles was an issue? He's still pissed about the, the Minecraft dogs. Yeah, I accidentally blew up all his dogs. It wasn't accidental, according it to him. It was accidental. I he, didn't... he tells it differently. I'm pretty sure it was accidental. I know you. He tells it differently. They're not real. I'm pretty sure it wasn't accidental. I know They're how you real. are. All right. So are we going to wrap this one up? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to keep Tiny space. I'm sorry. I'll be good. I, we're we're going to keep an eye on... Well, I say keep an we're eye on... We're not going to keep an eye on... We're not going to actually keep... We're going to keep an eye on the situation with Netflix... Um, but yeah, there was some financial damage done for sure. Gonna wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.